Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for another episode of Flashlight Basics, where if you are new to the crazy world of LED flashlights, this is a good starting point for some general stuff you need to know. Just a high-level overview, just the basics. Thanks for being here. Let's get into it. common questions that I hear uh, for people who are new to rechargeable flashlights or just rechargeable batteries in general is, is it okay to leave your batteries in the charger for an extended period of time, say more than overnight? And since this is flashlight basics, the short answer is no. Uh, you do not want to leave your batteries in the charger for much longer than it takes for them to be charged. Uh, and there are a number of reasons for this. Uh, partly it depends on what charger you have. Partly it depends on your battery chemistry. Uh, so if you aren't very familiar with both of those things and how they interact, just don't leave your batteries in the charger. Worst case would be you go on vacation, you leave a bunch of batteries in your charger, something goes wrong, and that ends up leading to a fire and doing something like burning down your house. Me, personally, I want to avoid that. Uh, I am, to some degree, an expert in batteries and chargers, and I never leave batteries in there just in case. Uh, and there are typically, depending on the battery and the charger that you're using, if you're using good ones, they should have some safety elements uh, built into both the battery and the charger. Uh, and that could be either just one of those things is inherently safe or there is some kind of hardware and software production uh, to prevent catastrophes from happening like uh, overcharging and catching on fire. That said, uh, in engineering we talk about something called a cascade failure and that is where one failure leads to another failure and there's a chain of events that eventually leads to a catastrophic failure. It can't happen, right? They put all these safety things in there to prevent all of that from happening. I gotta say, statistically, it can happen. Uh, I mean, that's generally what happens when a nuclear reactor melts down or something like that. There's a cascade failure where a bunch of things that aren't supposed to fail end up failing. So why take the risk? All you have to do is take your batteries out of the charger. That is my recommendation. Please do it. Uh, in a lot of cases, it's also going to preserve uh, the lifetime of the battery by not keeping it absolutely fully charged all the time. So that's it. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys next time.